the mm-hmm. front page of the LA Times, okay, and the entire NFL yet again laughing at the Spanos family. And by the way, it doesn't take long for the master manipulator himself, Mr. Crisis Manager himself, Mark Fabiani, to get involved. Fabiani had a quote, and let me uh, put it up on the screen for you here. Alex, you should probably read this since, you know. I'm the dramatic younger, reader of the and show. Your eye, and your eyes are so much better, yeah. This is a quote from Mark Fabiani in the OC Register. It's a completely made-up issue. The court petition deals only with the 36%, the trust. The 36%, which is a major asset of the trust, is worth far, far more than the trust owes anyone. So the idea that the trust somehow needs money, that's just completely made up. The trust has assets that are far, far in excess of its liabilities. Yeah, tell me something I don't know. Right. (laughs) Smart ass. Okay, (laughs) tell me something I don't know, Mark. Like, we get it. The debts may be a billion dollars, and the franchise may be worth $3.5 billion. And yeah, the asset outweighs the debt. Mm-hmm. Okay. It doesn't take somebody to, to, you know, run the Fed to understand the math here. And believe me, I'm no economist. But here's the thing Mark Fabiani is a manipulator. Do not trust what he says. Do not believe what he says. We have all learned the hard way. But now this is setting up for a heavyweight championship fight, man. Ding, 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 ding. In this, in this corner, the master manipulator, okay, Mark Fabiani. And in this corner is a guy named Adam Streisand who helped Jeannie Buss get control of the Lakers, helped Steve Ballmer take control of the Clippers. And this guy has a is resume. Helping, is helping Britney Spears free herself. This is a guy who has a resume that says he kicks ass. Yeah. And, and I think Mark Fabiani has just met his match. When you, you've got to look at it like this way, too. Once this gets into court, this guy's a smart lawyer. He's going to go into the books of how this operates. He's going to make their their literal financial life very public. And then this is going to show what she's saying is that we don't have the money. So we need to sell this team because we need the money now. What's something that's worse and anything down the line, 2024, whatever this other stuff is about. She's going to talk about the present. And what they don't have now. And that's got to scare the NFL. That's got to scare Dean. And if I wore Chargers uniform, I would be paying a lot of close attention to this. Yes, my check's going to clear. But at the end of the day, what's about the facility? What about the way we fly? What about the way we were treated? What about the organizational uh, uh, security? Like, I, I would be very worried all around if I had anything to do with this organization. I, well, doesn't this really tell you about every year when we talk about injuries? Every year. It's because this franchise does not spend money on their players. Their doctor punctured their quarterback's lung. Like, (laughs) let's go back to that. We've got a great reference point that they don't spend money. Their doctor punctured their starting quarterback's lung. Luckily, that led to Herbert playing. But nevertheless, what a bonehead mistake. Yeah, for me. For you guys, not so much. And then yesterday, if you... you listen to or watch the show you, you had Rafi from bolted podcast on they had joe barksdale who was a tackle for like a year or two for the chargers and he goes off he's like there's nothing good about playing for the chargers 